First, it was Discount Rewind to piss people off. And now we have Gojo from Walmart. No, I'm kidding. We don't have to compare popular anime characters with the Windbreak characters, but there are some similarities. It doesn't help that we have a silver haired, you know, kind of cool laid back character that has Gojo Satoru's voice. The captain, the leader, he seems like a pacifist, right? He seems like a very good person. And it's just kind of crazy how he is the top of Bofurin. Well, it's not crazy because I think all of us has the wrong idea about the delinquent stereotype and how Bofurin doesn't really match that, right? They're all about protect the community, do no harm, you know, love everybody. You know, you got to do good things. We're going out and like, you know, fucking painting over graffiti. We're such good people. But across the tunnel, you saw them. The, the, I forget their title. Their, the enemy school name. It's going to take a long time for me to remember. That's like a tiger jacket. She, some, she key something. I don't know. Their entire mantra is like, for the sake of power, we'll do fucking anything. I'll bottle a fucking student for the sake of power. There's a really slow talking dude who is pretty hyped up. And this is kind of leading into maybe some setup for the future fight. He's like the vice captain, vice something, the second in lead of that school. And Sakura's already kind of start shit, but. Who knows when that's gonna happen. I think we left off just meeting the captain, the top at Bofuri. So let's see what's gonna happen in today's episode. All right, this is the, uh, he, his stomach hurts a lot. His heart attacks. All right, sorry. Heartburns. Oh, shit, he's getting serious. Oh, shit. This is actually some Gojo shit. Where it's like, oh, so serious. And it's like, all goofy and funny. And I just realized, um, there's another character right now who's airing. Um, Go Go Loser Ranger, Sentai anime, Red Keeper, also same voice actor, right? He always plays this kind of character, like, cock, is it cock? Like, OP, kind of cool, casual dude. Dumb? Intentionally being ignorant? Holy shit, he's forming an actual sentence instead of saying random small words and noises like mm, grrr. He's actually said something, a, a full sentence. Uh, report news. Okay. Bro loves gardening. What would happen if some like enemy delinquent gang started to like burn his garden, right? Like he cares a lot about these plants. I want to see him when he gets serious. If somebody like try to burn this shit, could you fucking imagine? Oh, that's the kid that got fucked up and brought with us, right? Yes. Yep, still he's satisfied. SS is great yapper like me. Just grass. I mean, it's just green leafy things. It's the... Cliche. It's this intentional thing where you want to like, you don't want to show someone too strong all the time, or it gets boring. So how do you make the contrast? How do you get the shock appeal? You introduce an OP, you know, important character like this as a chill, relaxed dude. But when it's time to get serious, the sudden tone shift. That's what even further exaggerates how OP he is because of how he usually is and then how he acts. <laughs> Everyone worships him here. I wonder where he got that scarf from. Where is each no say his mom? Someone tell her, bro. Oh, are you shoplifting? Criminal. Criminal. Worse than war crimes, bro. Worse than someone that would intentionally waterboard a student. No, criminal shoplifter. L L. So he shoplifted and he started fucking running because people started to chase him. Then he accidentally went into the tiger territory. Then he got fucked up. Honestly? I'm not mad. I'm glad he did this because if he didn't do this and bring the tiger boys over, we would have spent the next episodes just fucking gardening and doing some random fucking painting the graffiti in the community. We need some shit to go down. Oh, I actually remember his name. Yeah, you actually know his name? I don't know his name. Yeah, I guess. Oh, Onichan! Oh, oh, He's pretty chill about this. Not mad. Oh, 
Sakura pretty much did it. Yeah, they were talking shit. So I was like, oh, you think you're strong? Yeah. He does that all the time. Basically, anyone starts saying they're strong and Sakura's like, nah, I'm here. Fuck you, bitch. Fight me. That's the entire thing, right? He hates strong. Like, he hates people that think they're strong but aren't actually strong. And so far, he hasn't really met a, met a match yet. So maybe this, like... Gojo Satoru guy here. He'll be the first one. I don't know. You think he could take down the guy from the Tiger Boys, the second in command, right now? I think it's too early. I don't know. Because, like, this is such in the early game, and we don't know what the most important schools are. And usually the villains in the beginning, it's the early game, you know? They're going to get power crept so quickly. So maybe the Tiger dude isn't that strong, and we could do it. Oh. <laughs> Yo. Got a younger brother. We got a big bro now. <laughs> bro is blushing. Not just his face, but the ears as like this is fucking elf bride and Nephi. You know when elves start blushing, their ear starts blushing too, bro. That's why he's the leader. <laughs> あいつらが惹かれる理由が分かった気がする。で、何勝手に兄貴になってんだよ。おい、お兄さん。うん、疲れが出んぜっしょ <laughs> You're tiny! Ume-chan! The fuck? This little boy is the fucking leader of Shitoran? Really? I mean, look at the amount of people behind him, right? Not only did he drag the guy's head, but there's other people that's fell, like, that's, that's fell too. So maybe he is kind of open. Doesn't really look scary too far, so far. They seem to be close if he's referring to him as Umechan. Sakura versus the leader? No, I want to see Umechan. What the? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! What? This is just Umechan taking his windbreaker on his jacket on? This is the aura that he felt? Wait. Okay, okay. Well, I want to know, like, are we. What, what kind of, like, delinquent fights are we going to have? Because, like,. It, 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 let's, let me give you an example in sports anime, right? I haven't seen Kuroko no Basuke, so I've seen clips of it, right? When you compare that shit and people doing fucking magic shit with it, like, it, it's not realistic basketball. But then there's, like, Slam Dunk, which is, like, realistic basketball, right? So in this show, is it going to be, like, realistic delinquent fights? Or are we going to have, like, magical delinquent fight? There's no key oh system, God. right? Th there's no, like, energy aura, right? <laughs> Squad up. No, daddy's got it. That was different. He can't move. <laughs> this is some conquerors hockey shit. I can't move. My body's frozen off of that single word. Who is this guy? Oh, my feet. She. Let's see his face. How much did his face change? Yo, Tomiyama. Okota, Okota. You mad? He's like such a kid. You've gotta be pretty confident if he's starting shit like this. It's like they just wanna play. It's just feels like two old friends or something. Dagana. He's going to let him go. He's like, all right, we did our bad. We fucked up on our side, but you took out of our boy. So leave. I'm giving you this chance. Leave. But he's not going to fucking leave, is he? <laughs> oh, he's come. Here he comes. His left arm. Okay. Huh, this guy is fast, I guess? Yeah, 
I'm bored. What is it? <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. These fucking delinquent shows are basically yaoi shows in disguise. Don't get it twisted, bro. It's a fucking sausage fest. They're pretty much all fanboys and husbandos. And then they say slutty shit like this, bro. This is 100% a yaoi BL chip, bro. But the fights are hype. The fights are hype. Okay. Because he's got like a community. He's got friends. Go fucking raise your own community. It just sounds like he's really lonely. So I'm sorry. <laughs> this is actually Rewin! Whoa, 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 whoa. This is actually Rewin's voice actor here. <laughs> What's up? Boss rating. This is Manabu, right? Wait, wait, this is Manabu, right? For the people that don't watch Classroom of the Elite, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but I'm just talking about random voice actors from different anime we watch. This is Manabu slash Anos post season one Nisfit, I think? Is that him? See, we're so friendly. We got nicknames for each other. Did he just tell Umechan to shut up? Wait. Did he just tell boss to shut up? Oh, 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 what? This is good. Okay, 1v1, let's see it. Yo, Umechan better one punch this kid. I want to see a difference in power. Ryuin's talking shit! And then Ryuin's talking shit to Ryuin! Oh, this is the sussy kid! <laughs> Remember this guy? this guy? This guy was hilarious last episode. He was like, oh, oh, you just think so fucking cute. <laughs> yeah, you're amazing, sure. Oh. Oh, you don't like that. Don't you fucking dare show up with your entire squad. Blue ball me and leave. You can't. 1v1 with Umechan right now and then leave. I swear to God, if you showed up with your entire fucking squad and you just walk away, you're fucking just a bunch of posers. You're delinquent! Who gives a fuck about getting dark? <laughs> Gonna run away, pussy? <laughs> Because his face is the one that's going to get fucked up. Got it? He's, okay, we got the jokes. Please. You've been saying this like 10 times today. Sure, repeated 1v1s. <laughs> Rewin versus Rewin. Okay. I think these kids are just really lonely and bored. They just want friends. Hiragi san. Wait, Sako Koto. This guy's voice actor sounds very familiar too. Is that Mash's voice actor? It's very familiar. He wants to take out Mr. Uh, Heartburn. Oh, it's personal. Not gonna lie though. Their their tiger design in the back. It's pretty cool. I, I think it's really cool. Their jacket color too. Orange is pretty cool. I, I actually do like it. Bofurin. Yeah. Yeah, it's traditional. But like, that's something with the tiger mark is pretty cool. Okay, we got a little bit more of the episode left. Cafe, Pothos. This is the girl, right? Umemiya and the girl. You did not just off screen to fight. You did not. What happened? What happened? Did I misunderstand that? And the repeated 1v1 is going to get scheduled on a different day? I thought they were talking about it's getting dark. Let's leave. And then it's like, they made some jokes. And they're like, all right, let's fuck it. Let's just even fight. Wait, wait, wait. It's. <laughs> 
showed up for all that for fucking nothing, bro. Hey, at least we set up a fight. We got a date schedule with the boys. And this girl in Umemiya, right? The captain. There's something going on there. She's someone that Umemiya needs to protect. Why? Childhood friend? Lovers? What's going on? <laughs> Broccoli! Ew! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Am I the only person that, like, is annoyed at this kid? Listen, he has the heart of a hero, I understand. And every show needs a straight man to basically be the normal person that's like, oh my god, you're doing this, this is crazy, oh my god, oh my god. But, like, every fucking... He has the most lines. He's like, whoa, oh my god, no, you can't do this! <laughs> He has no hopes. Like, like it, it'd be another thing if he was like straight up glazing and be like, nah, we got this, boys. Yo, we got Ume Mia, bro. Come on. That'd be fucking nice. But like, he is just every fucking minute doubt hesitation oh my god can we can't we do this crying this better be leading to some kind of character development where he stops acting like this at some point wait eat the, eat the tomatoes at least oh dicaprio no more rice only coffee or tea because Umemiya and her, there's gotta be something there, right? Why is it the official hangout? So what's your relationship? Oh. Oh. I don't think he's very interested. So like, he's just simping for her. So he really likes her, and she's like, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because technically Sakura, did he? Did he have any romantic feelings towards her? No, she just kind of helped us. And he never, I didn't really think that he was into her, right? It was almost like, oh no, someone's being nice, but probably in the back of his mind, he's like, oh, maybe she's single or something. And now it's like, she, Umemiya. But then, did she, how does she feel about Sakura? She and Sakura was getting along pretty well. But I don't think there's anything romantic just yet, right? What are you then? Little sister? Little sister zone. But she's older, right? She's graduated high school, right? And he's like a senior. So he's treating an older sister that he simps for as a little sister. Okay, um, at least this kind of opens up a possibility for uh, Sakura to still be with her because, you know, if he is sister zoning her, then... Uh... What is that earring? Is that a button? Holy shit. Her earring is a literal fucking button. That's kind of cool, I guess. <sighs> Red must be expensive. Okay. Orphan? Group home? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's older. The f what? She's six. I thought she was in college. She's 16? Sakura 6. What? Cap. Is a 16 year old allowed to run a business like this? Are we supposed to play along? And just act like she's 16? What's going on? Why'd he throw a chair? I think I don't think I think we're missing out on something here. It's an unspoken rule. <laughs> it's an unspoken rule. She's been 16 for the past 10 years. Sugishita <laughs> <Okay>. is <laughs> the biggest dog for Umemiya, man. Low key, it's fucked up for me to say this, but a part of me wants somebody to either burn Umemiya's plants, the gardens, or someone to trash Kotoha's restaurant, or someone to kidnap Kotoha. And you're gonna say, what the fuck? What is wrong with you? Hear me out. Because if those events happen, Umemiya will go all out and get serious. Don't you want to see that happen? So for the sake of content, I hope this girl gets kidnapped. <laughs> I need to see this guy go all out, man. That must be flashback with that Kazu guy. Sato? Sako? Kato. The guy that, you know, said, I want to match up with Hiragi. So, they used to be childhood friends? 
いや昔のシシトーレンのことを考えてた持ってたんだよ They changed cultures? 前は違ったのか What were they like? シトーレンはただ純粋に喧嘩の強さを求めるチームだったりになかった、okay. 昔一度うちとあいつらが派手にぶつかったのを。<笑> you felt good? <笑> <In a weird> <笑> kid came into leadership and then what? They got more aggro? ミヤマもトガメも。ダレオリモチームをもう力の絶対進行の象徴のようなやりになったんだが。I don't know! The kid wants to fight Ubi Chan! 原因はトミヤマ。詳しいことはわからん。明日話す。Tomiyama Choji, the leader, must be. There's gotta be some different reason why he's trying to start shit all the time. And that basically changed the culture of Shistosen compared to before. Why? I don't know. His eyes did really look dead, true. When he showed up, right? His like, eyes were just like hollow black. Even though he was smiling. And I'm like, what is this guy supposed to be? Hmm. A fight is a conversation. Good fist. <laughs> Tomorrow's the fight. Mata Kurkarana. Oreo yet in Nakatano. Tuskate Kurte. I got over. I must. No problem, buddy. Oh, surprised he didn't blush there at the thank you. Gambario. The most chinned is in today, motherfucker. It's not like I'm fighting for your sake or anything, Buck. True. More confidence, though. Come on. See, it's like the way that Kotoha treats Sakura is so different from Umemiya. Umemiya just like Sakura, just like sorry, Kotoha is just like so annoyed of. But like with Sakura, it's like I don't know. Is, is, is this the shit? Would Umemiya be mad? I don't know. <laughs> Talking of ships in this show, talking about ships, most people are not shipping girls and guys like this. You know what the ships are? I bet a bunch of Fujos are watching this and everybody just like shipping the dudes. Like, nah, this is the real ship, bro. It's a big bro and little bro. There's, I guarantee you, there's so much fucking BL Yaoi ships, bro. Who's the top? Who's the bottom? <laughs> It's the border again. I can't believe this kid's like still with us here. Who the fuck is he fighting? Did he even have a matchup? Or is he straight up show? Because like when we were like lined up against Shishitosen, everyone had their own matchup, right? But like the orange hair guy, I don't think he did. So he's just gonna go there and be like, no way! <gasps> Flag, maybe? I don't know. He said he ain't gonna lose. Oh. Bro's hiding behind, you know, yeah, fucking DiCaprio it. there. And that is the episode. Am I the only one that's pissed off at this guy, bro? Surely I'm not the only one that's pissed off at this orange hair guy, right? I don't know. Am I being unreasonable? It's just like every fucking second, he's just... <gasps> I get it, I get it. We need a street man to establish the fact that whatever these kids doing, these are not normal high school students. They're delinquents, but holy shit, you're kind of fucking spamming it, bro. Just, just to fucking tone down a little bit. What was the important thing today? I think we learned a little bit more about Umemiya's kind of character. He's like a very chill, pacifist, easygoing, big bro. Uplifting others, great guy. But when he gets serious, he gets serious. And the Conqueror Hockey is there and we cannot move. That's how serious it is. Haven't seen him fight just yet, but that's gonna be for next episode. What else do we know about Umemiya? Umemiya and Kotoha. Apparently, they're from the same um, group house. They grew up together, right? So it's kind of childhood friends, brother-sister relationship, maybe. He's younger, she's older. Apparently, she's 16, but I think she's been 16 for the last 10 years. So there, there is that, right? I think Sakura and you know Kotoha, maybe there's something here. I don't know. I think it's just an older sister that kind of takes an interest in this new kid because he's fresh and he's new and that sounds weird now. It sounds like she's hunting him. Anyways, we have the official matchups. Everyone has their own matchups and it looks like next episode is going to be pretty hype. And there was a little bit, a little bit of what the animation could look like during fights. Well, not even during fights. 
when Umemiya moved, this blue aura showed up, right? So I was like, hold the fuck up. What kind of show is this going to be? Are we going to have realistic delinquent fights? Or are we going to have magical delinquent fights? So far, the stuff we've seen, it has been pretty realistic. But if they start to add in some kind of random bullshit magic system, like, I wouldn't mind. It's just like a battle show for me. That's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.